What's going on guys? Kenny here from 619 Guitars and Gear and today I'm going to show you how I hang my headless guitars without buying those expensive wall hangers, spending little to no money at all. So as always, let's get into it. Alrighty, so as the title suggests, I am going to show you how I made my headless hangers for both of my headless guitars uh, for literally zero dollars. I had everything laying around the house. If you don't have everything laying around the house, it will probably cost probably 15, 20 bucks. Uh, it'll be two pieces of flat metal and maybe one two by four you can probably even get away with buying like a little three foot piece or if you have a piece of four by four it'll be great because it is literally two pieces of two by four screwed together so either way it is four by four and uh yeah so three components here before we get into things i just want to say as always thank you so much for watching if you're new to the channel i want to welcome you here i'd love to have you subscribe so go ahead and hit the button definitely give the video a thumbs up so youtube knows you're watching and feel free to leave a comment and ask any kind of questions uh if you want more detailed pictures or anything like that you can always reach out to me on instagram it is at 619 guitar and I will show you exactly how I made everything, send you detailed pictures, and uh, you can also show me your headless, and I can maybe guide you around how uh, to do it. So let's get into these things here. Like I said, three components. It's going to consist of this main block here, which is two 2x4s two screwed together, or like I said, you can use a 4x4. Four four. Uh, I torch them and stained it to make it look nice. Uh, put felt on the top of it so it is protected and it is radiused to basically fit the contour of the bottom of the body. That part will basically be customized to whatever guitar you have. Uh, some of the dimensions and everything on this whole uh, idea will be customized to your specific guitar, but it will be basically the same idea. I also just have mine uh, wrapped in tape to make them black right now. Um, I didn't have, you know, at the time I built it, I didn't paint them or anything. Uh, I'll eventually get to that, but I just wrapped them in tape to make them black. And the block, like I said, I stained and burnt to just make it look a little more fancy. But uh, so you have the block that is screwed into a beam with a three inch screw. Uh, if you don't want to put holes in your wall, this might not be the way to go for you. But honestly, if you're going to buy like the string swing anyway, you're going to be putting two or three holes in your wall uh, either way. So whether you put three holes in your wall, two holes in your wall, or, or four, four holes in your wall, this is four holes for this setup. Uh, either way, you're putting holes in your wall. So it really doesn't make a difference. So on to the next piece, you're going to have the bracket that holds the neck up now this is basically shaped like a lightning bolt it's going to go up come out and then go up again uh, and that's going to hold the neck that has two bolts or two screws in it uh, going into a beam and then it has foam on the bottom of the neck and then foam were uh, against the strings so everything is perfectly protected uh, you could basically i have this these two parts into beams like i said so they are spaced according to the beams in my wall. Uh, you could pretty much space them however you want, but I do suggest at least the block and that support part, that bracket being into beams, it'll just be a lot more stronger. And then for the third part, you're gonna have this other bracket, which is basically the same shape, kind of like a lightning bolt. And this has one screw in it going into a drywall anchor. Uh, if you can, if it lands where a beam is, that's perfect. But if it doesn't, that's okay. You can use a drywall anchor. And this one is going to swivel out of the way. So you need this one to not be super tight, but tight enough to where it holds the guitar from not falling forward. This also has foam on it. So it is completely protected. It will not ding up the body. It just has to be able to swivel out of the way because that is how you get the guitar off 
and onto the hanger. Uh, there's a piece of foam behind the body that is going to protect it from hitting the wall. So at all points of contact, it is protected. Um, I mean, if you're careful getting it, you know, lifting it off the brackets and everything, you won't bang it against anything. So it will be, you know, it's perfectly strong and it's perfectly safe for all your guitars. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down here so you can, you know, see how easy it is to get on and off. All right, so we got the camera put down here. I'm going to take the guitar off the bracket and just show you literally how easy this is. So I usually just put my hand here, grab the neck, take this, swivel it out of the way, carefully pick it up, and it's off. I mean, if you don't have guitars that close, it's probably a lot easier, but just because of how my space here works out, I have no choice. But I didn't bang it against anything. It's perfectly safe. There is the piece of foam. You can kind of get a better look. This is the bracket that swivels. It's nice and tight. There's no play in it, but it does swivel still. So nice and simple. Little to no money, like I said. Uh, a lot of people will probably be like, just go buy the real thing. I'm about making stuff. If I can make it, I'm going to make it and save money to put into other equipment and everything like that. It's a nice little DIY project you can do, and uh, I think it looks cool. It kind of puts your guitars on display a little bit better than the string swing does. And uh, yeah, I think it's more, you feel more uh, more more pride that you built it yourself, and it's uh, it looks really good. So three easy components. You can hang your headless really easy with no problem. Go ahead and put this on here. Nice and easy, no problems at all laying on that bracket boom locked in place it's not going anywhere i feel like i'm on like shark tank pitching an idea here but it's super easy anyone can do this like i said if you have the stuff laying around your house or you can go to home depot and they'll have everything you need if you want to contact me i can always help you like i said and uh yeah show you how exactly i did it in more detail i'll take pictures send them to you but that's how I hang my headlesses, guys. Uh, that's it for this video. We will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, have fun, be a good person, drink a lot of water. See you later.